Ah, espera. That's good. That's the moment you've got a lot of foreground. Yes. So, my opinion, that's a bit too much. So, we. I'll run a keep it on video that way. Go, no way, no, it, it just helps me. Okay, uh, now we might go to. Where, what else can we get photos of? Uh, details. Details, yes. Go over this side. That is a nice angle, isn't it? So that was. At, at 63, that's still good. Okay. Zoom in a little bit more, get the zoom in. in. Yep, no rows at all. Don't forget you can zoom. Yep, yeah. I won't forget that. See, the nose is really close. Yep. I'll be careful. That's fine, isn't it? Yes. Perfect. I like that one. I like that one. It's interesting with its trail. Yeah, well, I've never done photos like this, like this before. No. Never done photos like that before. I have now. Yeah, I have now, which is good. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. Go around the other side. Go around the other side, yeah. Yep, yep. Can you tell me what's wrong with that shot? What's wrong with it? There. Tell me. I know where it is. That sign. I'm not good at guessing games. <laughs> Bubble. What's wrong with it? Oh, no, if Sam is this, you probably have it at the truck moved, but. It what? Yeah, sure. Because the signs. Oh, the signs. Yeah. Well, you don't have to get the whole truck, you get to there. Yeah, that's alright. Just Sam, just there. But then the sign tells the story too. Yeah. It's parked up yeah. at the. Yeah, exactly. And it's home. Yeah. So that just tells a story. Exactly. Turn it off on me? I oh, know. Battery, shit. Should have worn a battery with me. I didn't say you charged it? I, I charged it, yeah. Okay. I had to bend two of the next. Hi. 
What's going on? Oh, that's a snazzy new hat. <laughs> well, I, I'll just turn it off for a bit. Of this dusty old thing. <laughs> I'm sitting here taking photos, talking to um, um, Karina, and it's like, I thought, oh, it's like, she's going to rob your eyes with this. She said, <laughs> she said, get that Dawson's one off. Okay. <laughs> so, right, good. so I've got that now, which is good. Ripper. Yes. So. More helpful for the sun. Yeah, that too. Oh, especially, <laughs> with my, especially with my eyesight. So what we've done, because got to focus on how to use how to use this camera. Yep. So I and I've got my camera still recording as it's we're okay. saying this. So we've taken photos of a 104B over there, and I don't know what brand this one is. I think it's a 610 cell. I think it is. So I have to do a bit of a rego check on that one. No so, and we've got permission from, I don't know, who was that lady that you were talking to? I can't remember, I'm really not good with names. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, cr I got her name briefly, I was like, oh, tell but me what your name what and it was. just goes in I know, one year I, I spoke to three different companies today, I'm like, oh god, I can't remember which one she is. So, um, yeah, so they've given us, the all clear the post up and stuff, so, yeah. Okay. She said to tag their page. Awesome. Oh yeah, that's easy to remember. <laughs> okay, back into right. this. That's all right. Well, it's on the on video anyway. I'll, I'll post them up for you later. Okay. At the moment, that'd be a joke break, wouldn't it? Uh, we've got, it's in AV. Yep. <coughs> Just getting that in on camera as clear as I can and OV and what's this part over here again the 66 oh point. the aperture that's what you're controlling aperture in the AV you're controlling aperture so, it's, so for still things like this you have to be in AV it doesn't yep. have to but it's just it controls your depth of field so and if it doesn't mark the setting it's on it'll flash it'll flash yeah and then you just got to adjust it higher or lower so you've got your little um, where is it? Yeah, so you've got your little bar down the bottom. That's um, exposure, pretty much. So in the middle, or one, one or two to the left, one or two to the right. That's kind of your perfect exposure. If it's too far to the right, then it's going to be blown out and overexposed. To the left, it'll be too dark. And then I've put it on 200 ISO. It's got a sunny day. Yeah. So the ISO doesn't need to be high. So I'd have it on maybe one to 400, depending, you know, it's a um, bright sunny day, 100, 200, still sunny, but not, you know, overly, you know, 400. But yep. don't bump it up too much, because that's when you'll get your grainy photos. Yeah. Yeah. So they're all their e-strawberry photos before we have the lessons. We're all in like 1600 or so. Oh yeah, that'll do that. Yeah. yeah, so it was... That's, that's what you do when it's, um, say, dark. You're shooting at, you know, night time. You want to let more light in is what ISO does. Yeah. But you're going to sacrifice the quality of your photo by doing that. So it's kind of like a, oh, what do, I, do I want the photo? It's going to be grainy. So, yeah. Yeah. You can still shoot in, um, in your TV mode on still things. It's just you can't... The camera will control the aperture so yep. this way you can control it yourself yep so we're pretty much practicing so i'll open that back up is it possible to maybe move to the other side of the truck we've already done that side okay yeah because these ones have got all that danger sign straight yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, we were I'll just talking about that <laughs>
it's on camera by the way too. I'll, I'll post it all up for you so that way you can watch them. Okay. Yeah, I've just done as a blank text, but just copy and paste it. You'll accidentally send it to someone. <laughs> well, you sent, me, you sent me a number this morning, and I thought, oh, I'll ignore that. Yeah, no, that was, I um, rang Shanahan's this morning, and they is said... This, so what's this one? This one's Schultz. Okay, Schultz. Schultz. Shanahan's yep. is the one that's going up towards Howlong. 